Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a nasty analog rhythm sound in SAR, and it sounds like this. All right, I think you get the idea. If you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So now let's dive into this patch and see how it's created. So first off, the level and the panning are default. I didn't change that, so those are going to be at noon. For the attack, it's going to be 0 0.009 seconds. Decay and sustain are going to be at the very top. And the release is going to be 0.581 seconds here. The transpose section is going to be default, so 0 for the transpose and 0 for the fine. Now moving on to the glide. So both of these switches here are going to be up, as you can see the lights on for both of them. And then the glide time is going to be 16%. If there's anything confusing that I say about this synth, I have a full course in the video description below. So moving on. Over here on our unison, these three switches are going to be off, but we are going to be using eight voices of unison. The detune for them is going to be 22%, and they're going to be 100% panned. Now moving on to the oscillator section, the noise is going to be zero, the sync frequency is going to be on as this little light indicates right here, and just a small amount at 0 0.760 octaves. Now moving on to the subsaw, we're going to be using 59% of the volume, so this first one up here, 59%. Next up for the phase, 77%, and the tuning for this is going to be down one octave right here. It's going to be a square wave. These other two switches here you can forget about. Those are going to be off. And the detune is at 7%, so just a small little minimal amount. So if we drag it up here, we can take another listen to that. So if there was no subsaw, so this is 59, if I brought this down... Kind of gives a little bit more character to it. Moving on to the filter section here, the cutoff right now at this moment in time is 79%, but over here I have it automated, and we're going to talk about that at the end here. The resonance is going to be 12%, keyboard tracking and velocity tracking both at zero, but the filter here I changed to low pass 12 as opposed to the default 24. And the envelope section here is off, as we can see the slider down here is all the way at the bottom, so we can skip over this middle section here. Now, an interesting spot about this LFO here is that this is going to kind of create a pumping sound. So if we go back over here and just solo this track here, we might notice it a little bit, but it's a very subtle effect here. So what's happening is that this is going to be sent to the level, so the volume of our patch here. And the speed is going to be 2 over 16, as this knob over here says, it's tempo synced, so make sure to turn this one on. It's going to be on the first waveform here, a triangle. The attack is zero and the release is 100%. Now the amplitude is the important part. This is gonna be 15%, so just a subtle variation of it. Now if I crank this up, you'll see what happens here. So that pumping kind of sound, that on off is kind of moving. Here is a lot, little much here, so I brought that down kind of about 15% or so and kind of just subtly give that its character. And that's pretty much it for this patch here, except I have a little bit of effects going on, a little bit of reverb and delay. It's not too much adding to it. You can always use external stuff, which I think is a little bit better, but I kind of wanted to keep this one a little bit more in the box. So for the delay, the left is going to be 216, 216 for left and right, feedback 30%, depth 25, low cut 30%, high cut 65%, and the mix is going to be 37%. For the reverb, turn this on here. The decay, 25%, high cut, 76%, dampening, 70 mix is going to be 40 And an interesting spot is going to be the arpeggiator down here. So we're going to turn this on to play, 1 over 16, and the range is 2, and it's going to be going downwards. And that's pretty much how this patch is constructed. It's really up to your notes and however you want to play this patch that comes into play. And this EQ here I brought in the forefront so we can kind of know what we're cutting out of this synth here. So there's going to be a little bit of uh, cutting here at the low end at about 100 hertz or so, taking out a little bit of 208 or 288 hertz, and then boosting a little bit of the highs at like 3K-ish or so, just a tad just to kind of give it a little bit of brightness here. So unsoloing this here, this filter cutoff in the beginning here, we can watch this knob move right here. It's going to be cutting the highs, and as soon as everything starts coming in, then we're going to kind of open up the filter. And to keep it a little bit more interesting, there are just subtle variations going on through here while the whole riff is playing to kind of make the sound feel like it's moving more, it's more of a live, it's not just set it and forget it kind of thing. So with that all being said, let's listen to the song again and hope you learned something. And as always, the patch is available for free in the video description below.
And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.